Oh, this is good. We're still adding and subtracting on these. So let's take a closer look at 17. Uh, some of you guys would turn this into a decimal. It doesn't matter. Uh, you'll be, well, I wouldn't say you'd be better off, but uh, if you can work with the fractions, that would be good as well. That's 4 over 1. So if we wanted a common denominator of 5, we'd multiply these by 5. You'd have a negative 1 fifth plus 20 fifths, which would give us a denominator of fifths. Then you'd have negative 1 plus 20, which is, uh, well, not negative, but uh, 19 fifths, which as a decimal would be 3.8. Wouldn't it be negative 19? 19 fifths or 3.8 is the answer. If we looked at a number line, would start at negative 1, then would go to 0, and then would go another 19, and that would give us 19. That's a good point, you guys. Uh, if you wanted to, you could say, well, uh, this would give me one zero pair getting rid of the negative, and one of these, which would give me 19 there. Number 18 gives us a decimal and a fraction, so this negative 3.5 as a mixed number is 3.5 minus 5 fourths. Some of you guys would turn that 1 half into 5 tenths. That's okay. Uh, now we need improper fractions. So 3 times 2 plus the 1, it's a negative 7 halves minus 5 fourths. And we need common denominators, so we'll multiply these by 2. Negative 14 fourths minus 5 fourths equals negative 14 minus 5 fourths. Negative 14 minus 5 is negative 19 fourths. Sorry, I forgot on number 18, you could have written this is a negative 4.75 as well.